In this tutorial I will draw a rather simple ice pop or popsicle as we know them in North America in Inkscape version 047. I would like to thank Christian from Chris Design for allowing me to screencast his tutorial. I tend to work a little fast while screencasting so I hope I don't forget any of the steps that Christian has provided for me. He has done all the work for me so all I need to do is remember how to draw it. Make sure to check out Christian's blog. He's an exceptional artist and puts together some really nice artwork. Thank you, Christian. I appreciate all the help you've given me. Also, I just want to warn everybody that I've only drawn this popsicle once all the way through. So I wouldn't say that I'm great at drawing it. Um, I probably should have spent some more time with it uh, before screencasting. But in my typical fashion, I wing everything. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay, the first thing that I had done already was I had gone to my document properties and I set up my document for 800 wide by 1100 high because we're going to be drawing something kind of in portrait mode. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start by selecting the rectangle tool and we're going to make this 450 wide by 800 high. Okay, now what I'm going to do is double click on it and we're going to grab our uh, radius node and we're going to pull this down now. I don't want to pull it down all the way. I want to uh, give just a little bit of a flat spot on there, like so. And I'm going to take this and we're going to go to Path, Object to Path. I'm going to double click on this to expose my nodes and I'm going to window around just the top four. I'm going to use my comma key on my keyboard to scale those nodes inward. Okay, and I'm just tapping it a few times just to bring it in. Just kind of give me a shape that looks about like that. All right. Now what I'm going to do is right click on this and duplicate. We'll give this a little bit of a different color. And I'm going to hold my control key down and grab this scale. Whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to hold my control shift key down and scale this about like so. And I'll hold my control key down and we'll just move it down here like this. Okay, and that's going to be our popsicle handle or our uh, wooden piece there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is we'll move this up just a little bit on our page. Um, I'm going to take the whole thing. I'm going to click it twice. I'm going to hold my control key down. Now, if you watch my status bar down here, I'm going to rotate this until I get about 20 degrees. You don't have to get it perfect, but that's just, I'm going to tip this off to the side a little bit. Okay. Now we'll take this and move this here. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, we're going to make uh, we're going to make it look like this is uh, dripping. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on this area, and I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to rough a shape, and I'm just mouse clicking. Doesn't have to be perfect and we'll just close the path okay now you can see that that's pretty rough I'm gonna go ahead and scale that up just a little bit and what we do to clean that up a little bit what I can do is double click on this and I'm gonna select all of these nodes around here and we're gonna use that auto smooth node selector okay and you can see that that cleans it up a little bit now we can double click remove some nodes that we don't need see that I've got a lot in here okay and we can move nodes around some of these we want to make auto smooth again and we can bump that down okay now you can keep uh, fooling around with that by just adjusting the node handles or you can take a tool like the tweak tool you can maybe set a width for five uh, we'll leave the force alone and we'll select this option here we're gonna move the uh, path in a particular direction and what we do and 
actually. We can take our tweak tool and we can just kind of push the path and blend that path in. You can see kind of how powerful this this can be. We can just use it to nudge our path. It's not just down just a little bit. Okay. And let's get this down just look like so. So it kind of looks like we've got some drips here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Good enough for the screencast anyway. So let's move this up just a little bit higher. I want to try to get that so it's tangent to our uh, popsicle body. And I'm going to take this one here. And we're going to have to adjust that just a little bit more. like so. And you can see how handy that tweak tool really is. And there's a lot of nice new features in the tweak tool uh, that they added for uh, 047. Okay, so I think that's probably pretty good for a drip. Uh, once you think you have it right, you can take that little path, you can highlight your main popsicle body, and we can go to path, and we can do a union on that. Okay, and you get something that looks about like that. Okay. Now, once it's a path, you can again use the tweak tool to kind of clean that up if you're if you're uh, happy with it. Uh, but I would suggest that you that you try to work on it when it's an individual path because the tweak tool will work much faster. Uh, I think the more nodes or or perhaps maybe the bigger the object is in Inkscape, it works a little slower, or at least uh, that's what's happened uh, with my experience. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so there is our popsicle with a little bit of it melting. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to highlight our popsicle body. I'm going to right click and we're going to duplicate that. And I'm going to give it a different color. And let's zoom in just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, and what I'm going to do is highlight it uh, with our... Uh, node tool and I'm going to select these things here and I am going to shrink it up just a little bit with our comma key okay and I'm going to select this one individually and kind of bring that in and what I'm trying to do is create kind of an, uh, a 3D image here. Give it a little depth for the back. And you want to make some of your parts here rounded. And let's undo that last node. I don't like the way that that turned out. Okay, let's take a look at that. I'll probably come in just a little bit further here. Okay, now what we need to do is fix all this area in here. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is delete some nodes. my phone on cue. Okay, and we'll just kind of push this up just a little bit. And the nodes that you want rounded, you can highlight those and make them auto round. And we'll delete some of these nodes here. Basically what I'm trying to do with this yellow piece here is we're trying to make a highlight. Okay, we'll put 
push this in here. Okay, we'll go ahead and blur that up in just a minute. But let's move this node up here. We're going to add a couple nodes and just kind of bend this in about right here. Okay, it's a little rough. Uh, on your own, you can kind of true that up a little bit, but uh, I am going to blur that. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's zoom out just a little bit, and let's bring in the, my Popsicle color palette. And this palette is uh, what Chris uh, made for me. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this. And we're going to make this background, uh, the back piece of our uh, Popsicle. We'll give it this dark color. And we'll make the top piece, we will, let's see, let's make it this color here. And we're going to give this a radial gradient. So I'm going to go take that and double click on it. And I'm going to adjust that about like this. And we'll pull this in just a little bit. Okay, now for the outside, I think what I want is I'm going to pick the darker color here. And for the inside, I'm going to pick this lighter color. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I can say I'm not really too satisfied and happy with how this is coming around here, but uh, I don't want to dwell on it too much for the screencast. I can pull that in maybe just a just a hair. Again, those are things that you can tweak and just get right and take your time doing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a, a blur. Um, so I'm going to highlight this bit here, and we'll give this about a 2% for a blur. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. kind of gives me some depth there. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the back uh, popsicle shape, and we're going to duplicate that. Okay, we'll just give it a different color for now. And let me zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to take our ellipse tool and we're going to draw an ellipse. And it's a little too big. Stretch that out just a little bit. And we're going to rotate this. We're going to make a little bit of a highlight. About like so. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my red and my blue object. We're going to go to Path, Object to Path. I'm going to make those paths first before I select uh, them both individually and we do an intersection. Okay. Now we're going to take that and make that white. And I'm going to highlight this and we're going to go to path, dynamic offset. And I'm going to pull this in quite a bit, about right there. And I'm going to highlight that white object and we're going to go to object to path and then we're going to go to dynamic offset. When we do that, that kind of rounds off these sharp corners right here. Okay, and that's going to be my highlight. And let's make that just a little bit bigger. Let's come out to the outside. About right there, yeah. Okay, and we're going to give that a gradient. We're going to give it a linear gradient. Okay, 
I think we're getting close. All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is let's make um, some highlights down here. So I'm going to zoom in on this area, and we're going to grab our pen tool, and I'm just going to kind of go around this thing. About like that. And if you want to kind of simplify that, what you can do is highlight that and do a control L, and that'll kind of simplify some of your paths here. But it really isn't going to matter. We can leave it rough. Uh, we can go ahead and remove the stroke. And what I'm going to do is go to our color tool, and we're going to give that a let's give it a 15 for blur. And let's drill that opacity down just a little bit. And I want to give just a subtle bit of a highlight there. Uh, Chris added that on his, and I thought it was a, was a pretty neat thing to do. Okay, and that kind of brings it forward a little bit and puts a little bit of a, a highlight there. Okay, and let's do something else. Let's add some more highlights. So uh, let's go to our pen tool. And let's see here. What I want to do is just kind of come around here. Like so. And again, it's a little rough. We do a control L a few times to smooth that up. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to use our pen tool and mouse click around here. Again, control L to smooth the path. It's a little closer here. And we'll make these white. And we'll remove, select both and remove the stroke. We'll highlight both and we'll change its transparency. We'll give it maybe a uh, 52. Okay, that gives it just a little bit of a shine there. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is uh, let's work on the the stick, the wooden stick here, and what I'm going to do with that, let's make, let's see here, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create some grain, uh, and we can do that in Inkscape by uh, using the calligraphy tool. Um, let's change the color there, okay. All right, now what I want to do is, before I get started, let's go ahead and um, let's give this a gradient. We're going to give it a radial gradient. We're going to do a Shift R to reverse it. And I'm going to make the inside where it's white, I'm going to select this color here. It's kind of a subtle gradient. And we'll kind of move this around. If you want that gradient just a little bit, turn your snaps off if you if your snaps are uh, flipping on. But let's go ahead and double click on that. Go to our gradient tool and we'll edit that just a little bit. Okay, now for the darker part, what I'm going to do is just darken that up a little bit. And for the lighter part, we'll just lighten that up. get something about like that, okay? All right, and let me check something here. Okay, I think we're pretty good. 
All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to highlight that, and we're going to duplicate it. And I'm going to make that this dark color here. I'm going to push it down below everything. And this is going to be kind of our depth of our stick here. And we don't want it to be too thick. Something about like so. Okay, now what I'm going to do is right click on this and I am going to duplicate it and I'm going to put one over here and we can go ahead and just change the color and let's just give it this light shade here alright now what I'm going to do is grab my calligraphy tool and um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start out and I'm just going to draw a shape to see how thick that is and if I don't like it that thick make this a little darker here if I don't quite like it that thick what you do is you grab your calligraphy tool and we drill it down maybe to be maybe like a six or a five let's try a four okay I think that looks pretty good and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and make some strokes down like this And I'm going to select our back popsicle stick shape. And we're going to bring that to the front. Get rid of these things here. Okay. And I'm going to select all of this here. And I'm not sure I did this right. So let's go ahead and try it. Yeah, I did get it right. Okay. And this is going to make some uh, grain for us. We're going to make that grain uh, this darker color here. Okay, we'll take all that and we'll group it together. Make sure I got the color right. And we're going to take that. We're going to highlight uh, this object here. We're going to use our line and distribute. We're going to set, set it to last selected and we'll get something that looks like this okay we're gonna go ahead and push that back behind things I think I gotta go one more time okay and that kinda gives us some uh, grain some wood grain there now again uh, doing the wood grain kinda takes some practice um, what I like to do uh, I'm kind of working fast in the screencast and I didn't quite get it the way I wanted to get it. But you can kind of tweak that grain a little bit and then just kind of blend it in. Okay, now I'll kind of give you that wood grain. Alright, now there's one more step. Actually, there's a couple more steps, but we're going to put a shadow down here. So we'll pick here with our pen tool, here and here. We'll come down here. We'll pick about right there and we'll finish that off. We're going to select both of these here. We'll make those smooth. And I'm going to give this a red color. We're going to remove that stroke. And we're going to tweak our path just a little bit. Add another node here, another node here. And we'll just kind of pull that down. And we'll select both of these nodes. Right. 
this is going to give us just a little bit of a shadow. And for shadow, let's, uh, about this color right here. Now let's pick this dark color. Okay, we'll pick that dark color. And I want to make sure I don't have any white space in here, which I do. So we'll go ahead and zoom in on that. We'll pick our nodes. Kind of slide that up just a little bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And we'll zoom back out. And we're going to change the transparency. Maybe give it a 50% or so. I think that looks pretty good. And for the grain, we'll maybe slide that down just a little bit more. Okay. Give us just a little bit of a shadow right there. And if you think it, the shadow is too big, you can uh, tweak that up just a little bit higher. And let's see here, where do we leave off? Let's do some extra here. We got a we got a drip going on, so let's go ahead and try to draw a uh, little bit of a puddle down here. And that's probably not the best looking puddle. Something about like that. We can hit our control L. And I can tell that really sucks. Not really liking that at all. Okay, we get something about like that. Let's drive this out just a little bit. Okay, and we'll go ahead and give that a the same color as this here. We'll remove the stroke. And give this just a little bit of a shine. Control L a couple times, make that white, remove the stroke, okay, we'll give it some more highlights over here, and maybe a highlight down here. Give this a control L a couple times. And it's not the best looking blob in the world, but again, you can kind of uh, adjust that on your own. Let's go ahead and uh, drill down the transparency. Be a 52 there. Okay, we get something about like that. Okay, again, not not great looking, but uh, you guys come to expect that from me. Okay, and I think we're getting close. Um, let's go ahead and um, give this thing a uh, a shadow. So we're going to pick our very back 
popsicle shape. And we're going to duplicate that. Oop, actually, yeah, that's what I want to do. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. And let's move this off to the side. We'll go ahead and do a union on that. And what we're going to do is give this a linear gradient. Oops. I got my snaps turned on. Sometimes it helps to turn those off. Okay, we get something about like that. And what we're going to do next is let's. Eh, I don't want to skew it. Let's skew it this way. And we'll send this to the back. And let's just see what this thing looks like here. Sometimes you got to tweak this a little bit to get it where you want it. Let's tweak it some more. Okay, and it's not exactly what I want for a shadow, but it could work well enough. And we'll give just a little bit of shadow to this here. We'll duplicate that, make that black. Send it to the very back. And let's see what that looks like. I don't necessarily like that drop shadow all that well. Uh, again, that's something that you can tweak on your own. Uh, it gives it kind of a little bit of a, an effect there. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this, and let's do a 5 to check out our Popsicle. And I think that's it. Um, I think I, I got everything that needed to be on there. Um, again, uh, during the screencast, you know, things don't quite come together as nicely as I would like them. Um, but when you're on your own and you've got all kinds of time to uh, sit around and dink with things, uh, you can come up with some very nice artwork. Um, I think this is uh, the brunt of the screencast, and again, I want to thank Christian um, for giving me the idea for this. Um, every now and then, Christian sends me some uh, really neat uh, artwork, and uh, he's just he's got a flair for uh, for detail, and uh, so I just want to thank him uh, for this exercise. So I hope you guys uh, learned some things uh, from this, and uh, thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.